Hey everybody, welcome to Rem TV and welcome back to my Madden Connected franchise of the Denver Broncos 2.0. This is episode 5. Uh, here we are for week 5. We've been playing against the Jets who are 0-4. Uh, we are obviously 4-0. We're going to try to stay perfect here. Um, at least that's the goal for Vance Joseph is and the rest of the Bronco team. And uh, yeah, we're going to be playing down the highway from me actually at MetLife Stadium. It's going to be a 1 p.m. game. So see you guys in the field. Okay, looks like it's going to be a rainy day. And that means we're just going to run a lot, which we already do, so no problem here. Just like that, it's a first down for Philip Lindsay, and oh no, that's a shoulder. Oh no, come on. <laughs> come on. The blitz. That's the Hireman. Ooh, Hireman. A <laughs> little juke. For the first down, that is Keenum's first completion of the game. And hopefully a lot more to come. That's a sack by Bradley Chubb tripping him, actually. <laughs> that is a loss of 12. And another sack. And that's a fumble. All forced by Vaughn Miller. That's another big run. Phil Lindsay again hurt. He just came back in. Oh my gosh. This is not good. Hyman with another catch. And another first down, and we are stopped at the 11 yard line. And we are knocking on the Jets' door right now. I feel pretty good about this drive. Look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4, 6'5, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better out Wide open. For the touchdown, that's Emmanuel Sanders. Instead, they got sudden Sam Darnold. I think the Jets fans are going to be very happy to have him. On second and ten, Darnold. Oh, that's another sack by Bradley Chubb. I was coming in hot with Von Miller, but apparently Bradley Chubb got to him before I did. Yeah, ball boy. Intercepted. Thank you. That is Darian Stewart with the interception. And we're going to be starting at the six yard line here. Well, I don't know why he's throwing that aggressively. It's raining, it's pouring. The ball is, is wet, and Darian Stewart playing some good defense. Robbing that ball. That is wow. What a shot. Oh, what a catch by Emmanuel Sanders. Well-placed throw by Keenum over the defender's shoulder for the first down. I saw it that I was going to get picked off while he's tipped over the shoulders for the first. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. He sets to fire deep. This is wow, I thought I was going to intercept that ball. I was right there. What a catch. Ah, just runs it in easily. It's a tie game here in the second quarter. We gotta get together, man. I don't care if Philip Lindsay's not injured. I mean, if he's not here and he's injured. Devontae Booker is just as a capable running back. 
I got him. And you know I, I he can score. I know he can. And Denver getting set to take. He does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. Here's Booker. It's a big rush on the outside. Shook him for the first. As a gain of 11 for Devontae Booker. He's filling in the shoes of Philip Lindsay pretty easily here. That is Hireman with a catch. Went for the high risk, high reward play. Was able to pull it off. Come on, man. Right the three yard line. There you go. Philip Lindsay runs it in. For a three yard rush and a touchdown. about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined but sometimes the passes just go around yeah let's face it when you're running the route tree in pregame you know, defenders that's gonna be a pick this could be a pick six and it is that is Tremaine Brock senior with a pick six and here's a mile high salute in Jersey With all the missed throws that Donald had all game, I'm not surprised that this became an interception and a pick six. He's like, you know what? Give me that, man. Give me that. Coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Here's Donald. That's a touchdown. They respond pretty quick. Our defense has been really slow against them, to be honest. Sutton with an open catch. There is. That's a catch to Hireman. With a quick strike, reeling it in for the touchdown. And just like that, we are able to come back. We were picking the same play. And we could not stop. They couldn't stop Devontae Booker. And no Sanders. With another big catch and a first down for the Broncos. That's going to be a touchdown to Emmanuel again. Going with the slants. And that is a touchdown. That's a little bow for you. Another bit. What the? Oh no! <laughs> Luckily, Vamos stopped him there, but that's a big play. Gosh, and that's a first down for the Jets. So it's going to be 35 to 17. Halfway through the third quarter, and we still we're still in the driver's seat. That's a catch to Hamilton. And that is another Bronco first down. Their passing game cannot be stopped. Yeah, it's going to be touchdown to Emmanuel Sanders with a floater to the outside. That's his third touchdown of the game. That's another bow for the crowd. Okay, that's a ball game. And the coach is not too happy as we demolish the Jets. Demolish them 55 to 27, 24. Uh, even with Phil Lindsay getting injured for the game, um, the 
Devontae Booker and Janovic are able to fill in and get some running yards. So, I, I can't say anything more about this team. Two interceptions. One was, one was a uh, pick six. 419 passing yards. It was just destruction here at MetLife Stadium. And yeah, I can't complain at all, man. Cannot complain at all. Keenum. 144 uh, QB rating, 29 for 41, 427 yards, six passing touchdowns, no interceptions, longest pass of 35 yards. Uh, in terms of rushing, Devontae Booker led the way for the Broncos, 143 yards, 30, 32 attempts. Uh, Flip Lindsay had 34 yards before he got hurt, so that's whatever. Um, he had one rushing touchdown. Uh, in terms of receiving crew, oh my goodness. Uh, Emmanuel Sanders with 162 yards, uh, Jeff Hireman 87, uh, Corlin Sutton, uh, Corlin Sutton with 71, Devontae Booker with 46, Deshaun Hamilton with 30, Matt Lacoste uh, 28, even Andre Holmes had a catch for three yards. Amazing. Um, let's go to the defense here. Not a lot of tackles to be honest. Uh, Von Mello led the way. Bradley Chubb with two sacks, Von Miller with a sack. Um, again, two interceptions, one by Tremaine Brock Sr., who did have that uh, pick six, and also Darian Stewart. Let's see, I think that's about it. And yeah, I'll see you guys back in home screen. Okay, so we're back. And obviously, Case Keenum was the offensive player of the week. Uh, again, 427 yards, six passing touchdowns. Never gonna complain about that, man. Amazing game. Um, let's take a look at the players that are ready to uh, negotiate. Um, I won't keep all these guys, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to have enough money for everybody here. Um, Shelby Harris is a guy. Tremaine Brock Sr. has been great for me this season. Uh, but Paredes, obviously, a, uh, a big factor in my team. So yeah. We got 70 mil for cap room next season. I think I could do it. Uh, what does he want? Okay, let's just give him the offer here and maybe he'll want it. Okay, sign him for next season. Uh, Bradley Robia, obviously somebody that I love to use. Great on defense. Okay, we signed him too. Uh, Jermaine Brock Sr. Yeah, we signed. Who else needs to be re-signed? Shaq Barrett. Um, let's see how much are you asking for per year. Uh, okay. Alright. Ah, uh, really? Little oh, greedy little bastard. Um, Devon Pecco. Great on defense. So I want to re-sign re him too. Right. Shelby Harris. Let's see, I'll think about him. I don't think there's anybody else that maybe I'll be wanna be signing already. Uh, I'm looking at maybe Jordan Taylor. Uh, maybe Brendan Lang Langley. Zach Curry hasn't played much, I don't think. Uh, let's see. I think that's it so far. gonna be playing the Rams the next game so it's gonna be a tough game against playing Todd Gurley um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the episode of the Madden Connect franchise and the Denver Broncos if you like what you saw click the thumbs up button I'm trying to get at least three to five likes so please hit that thumbs up leave any comments below and if you're new subscribe to get the latest video updates and click that notification bell to be basically notified whenever I come out with a new video and I hope you guys have a great day take it easy and Peace.